Uh, you guys drop out of hyperspace. Hmm. Pretty close to the planet, actually. Hope he's still eating his toast. Uh, there's a lot of... You can see a lot of other space lane traffic coming and going. Because Narshida is a very busy planet. Wait, is it going to be a Yeah. Um... Yeah. Yeah. Did you guys hear that? When Toki broke the table, he was scratching it. Oh, yeah. He yeah. was just like a shattered metal table. <laughs> <laughs> then the chair, you can't. Then the chair. I think I like just glared. To and the then almost the ship. Uh, <laughs> they put a hole in the floor and I'm scratching. Okay, so uh, what's uh, the pilot droid's computers? Is that also. My nails have to be super um, sharp. I think it's three yellow. Let me see. Okay, it's quality, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> this quality is so sharp. We're just like... Yeah. Because you're basically using them every day. Two yellows. Sharp, all the time. Mm-hmm. What's that? I'm sorry. Two yellows. Two yellows. Toby's going to eviscerate somebody today. Oh, yeah. 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 The pilot droid manages to find it right on his computers. The docking tower, owned by Sanasu the Hutt. Yeah, that could have gone so well if you messed up. <laughs> well, you guys would have been searching the entire planet. Yeah, it's mean, only- sarcasm. <laughs> yeah. It only takes a couple of minutes to circle the planet once. That's where it'll be fine. Yeah, because, you know, it'll 100% be on that same little... So, you guys have found the pad, but... The only problem is, uh, the landing beacon transponder isn't transmitting. Oh, this is amazing. So, your flight path winds through the towers and spires of the upper level of Narshida. Uh, all are heavily withered and worn, with decades of dirt and grime covering most. Turning between two enormous resident blocks, you see an 80-story tall spire, topped with four levels of five green-painted landing pads each. Green Top is aptly named, or was. As you approach, you realize the entire structure is a burned-out hulk of a building, with broken windows and a smoke-stained exterior. Whatever befell the building, it spread fast enough to engulf the speeders and starships parked on its pads. Jesus Christ. The well, derelict craft... Maybe we can salvage stuff from here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the derelict craft and debris leave no room for landing. <laughs> Uh, a few stray of wisp of smoke still emanate from the building and the vessels. Uh, so surveillance checks for everybody. I, I've got your when is surveillance. <laughs> surveillance. I got yours. I got pretty much three quart. Uh, well, four fifths of you covered. Surveillance. That will be under. Oh wait, did I read that right? Yeah, surveillance. Would that be? Let me double check on the actual book because I might have typed it wrong. Because we have perception, we don't have surveillance. Yeah. Yeah. That. <clears throat> okay. Because this is the beta book, uh, some stuff in the adventure are probably different. So use perception. <clears throat> they probably changed that to perception rather than surveillance. Because they were like, well, every other game uses perception. Let's just use perception. Mm-hmm. Alright, so. Three greens. Okay. Alright, well, I probably don't even need to do everybody else, but. Unless you decide not to tell anybody. Uh. So, you realize that there is absolutely no one visible anywhere on the building. No droids, salvage crews, or even scavengers remain. There are a few official notices that the structure is declared unsafe. Is there a like, um, courtyard nearby? Uh, That's big enough for my huge ship? <laughs> You might have to find a new landing spot. 
It's fine. Looks like we'll have to find a new landing zone. Doesn't seem to. Let's blow a hole in the side of the building and land that. You can Stop. use computers or streetwise to find a new place to land. Computers, obviously. All right, so two yellow. Two yellow, four green. Oh, I thought we were gonna use your pilots. But okay, four green. I would go to the um, cockpit here. Or something like this. You're 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 fine. It was one purple, so that's why I was like, this is overkill. Um. So you find a list of three public pads in the area. Uh, the closest one is only the closest one. Uh, Robo's Landing has a view of Green Top Tower, and it's a kilometer away. But you can pick a different location. What's the second closest one? Okay, you're going to go to the second closest one? Okay. Well, I wanted to know what, where it is. It's about five kilometers away. You don't get as good of a view of the tower from there. Mm. But that means things in the tower don't get as good a view of us. Except you just saw there's nothing in the tower. <laughs> yes, because we saw that there was nothing doesn't mean that there was nothing. <laughs> There's well, except the tower is where you were supposed to be meeting your... And so now we have some dra a dragon on our... So guys, we have two... Uh, we have um, I said three we options, technically. Because <laughs> remember, there's the, cause there is the third one, but that's like well, no, I'm on the far side of we town. We can land and, and investigate this. We can dump the cargo and have the local authorities deal with it. Let's just drop it. <laughs> yeah. All this work to get rid of that? <laughs> <laughs> and then our, our friend here will compensate us. I need my money. <laughs> Wait, who will compensate us? Our friend here. I'm getting paid too, so. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were fronting this. <laughs> no, the hut is. Yeah. And if we screw the hut over, we're dead, so. Mm -mm. <laughs> 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 well, from all appearances, that hut is dead. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, we the hut. Well, the well, no, somebody else. But if we screw the other, if we screw Jabba the hut over, and we don't tell him what happened, <laughs> he will kill us. Who's working for Jabba? <laughs> yeah. Working for Jabba. Yeah, you guys are working for some other guy. Jabba. Not, no. not for this one. Caleb, you told me specific. Never mind. I didn't say Jabba. I, I said. No, we used Sanasu. Sanasu. Okay. I Another uh, type sounding name. They always end with vowels. Alright. So do you guys want to land and investigate? Why the fuck not? <laughs> I would so suggest I, edit, I would suggest an intelligence check on that. It's, 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 it's unanimous, so I mean I can't really I mean I think we should ask a the I, I, that I we're say looking for. I say if he can find okay. a city. I, I, will, for us. I will say that you know that going to the closest landing pad that's not Green Top, it's owned by people that you guys that works for Sanasu, so you'll be safe there. Okay, and then we can ask him what happened. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just go ahead. You want to go to the closer one? Yeah. Fine. Uh, what? That is knowledge that you would know, so... <laughs> yeah. well, uh, the furthest one, yeah. I, like, honestly, they don't even give me information on it. It says, the the rules say just assume that it's like the first one, just further away. <laughs> and they don't give me numbers of how far away they are. I just kind of have to BS that. Uh, you guys are going to have to request clearance to land. Let's do that and not die. Wait. Requesting clearance to land. Uh, this is my sim. Requesting clearance to land. Wait, wait, shouldn't we have a guy who actually works for him request clearance to land? That would probably be a good idea. <laughs> Do you want to? I'm not even aware of what's going on right now. Request clearance to land, please. <laughs> yeah, do that. Okay, so Garrick walks up and is as about as nonchalant as ever. It's just like, hey, can we land? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess. 
<laughs> like, like this is more lazy than Han Solo when it comes to how it works. He's just like, can I land? Everything's fine. Yeah, yeah, we're landing. Land though. Isn't that just improv? Because I didn't even lunch for that. Yeah. So. The worst moment. What the fuck was that? It sounded like a burp. That was me burping. That was a double. Or there's the alien inside of him, and we need to perform surgery right now. I'm the surgeon Fort here. Burpees. So you hear the the familiar voice of impact, the twi like that works out the landing pad, saying, "All right, go ahead and land your ship, Garrick." Hey, you. Yeah, you watching the video? It's me, Toki Supreme. I'm here to let you know that if you enjoyed this video, you need to like and subscribe. Also, if you want more Star Wars adventures from us, you should check out Escape Reality Films' Patreon page, which you can find in the link below. If you don't do at least one of those, I will send my army of Wookiees after you. I am the machine! Cuckoo, kachoo! Ice cream! <laughs>